Sorry, we do random, random uh, stuff. Dance You're watching the random chronicles of Carol and Margaret. How y'all doing? <laughs> Carol here. Margaret. We've all been in those awkward situations. I think Issa Rae has built the platform for the token. Insecure. Yeah, she has she has built the platform for like, you know, making it okay to talk about being a token black girl. Because a lot of people don't feel so comfortable doing it. I mean, but I find myself that way in companies that I've worked for. I've been the token person, the go-to person for cultural questions. It's mm -hmm. uncomfortable. Because it's like, you don't even know what I am. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But it's just... You may think that, oh, that's all I am, so let me go to her and sh she'll know. <laughs> she looks like she knows. And it's like, why right. judge me? How you know How you know that I don't like uh, Blink-182 or something? You know what I'm saying? You don't know what I like as a person, but exactly. you judge me because... I, because I just, of how I look exactly, and the color of my skin. Exactly. Like, I, um, I have somebody that I worked with and they would only invite me to um, cultural music stuff so like you know Rick Ross Migo stuff like that you know what I'm saying and it's kind of like how do you how do you know what type of music I like what if I don't like these type of music just I mean don't get me wrong I do I was gonna say you but, do like <laughs> right but I do have my a good guess where I like you know pink Carrie Underwood I listen to Carrie Underwood you know what I'm saying you don't know what I like as a person and for you to judge me by that you know just because of the color of my skin is kind of like it's wrong you know right well I get asked for love and hip-hop questions a lot too I mean, I do watch it, don't get me wrong, but should not judge a book last cover. And you know what's funny? I don't really watch Love and Hip Hop. I'll watch like clips mm -hmm. from Instagram, but I don't watch Love and Hip Hop. Like, I don't. I mean, it's bad. Don't, it, it is bad. It rots your brain. Don't watch it. It's entertaining. It's very entertaining because it makes me feel it. like my life isn't as bad as it should be. <laughs> but, no, I What? Do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it it should be. No, 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 not it should be. Oh, I take that back. I take that back. It makes me feel like my life isn't that bad. There's people out here really doing some foul stuff. But I don't know. I find it uncomfortable in a situation. It makes me very uncomfortable because it makes me not want to speak up in certain situations. Because like how Issa has said, I don't want to be like that. You know that one stereotype. It's like okay, well, why are you guys talking about that? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like you have to be quiet yeah. in a lot of situations. You don't want to make it seem like a race thing, mm -hmm. but it is. But you can't make it seem like that. You got to be unbothered. Hashtag unbothered. Yeah, but it's it's. I but the thing is, me personally, I'm half black and half Mexican, but I never fit in with the Spanish people because I was not raised to speak Spanish. To, yeah, to speak Spanish, and I don't look Spanish, and then I was never. I never fit in with the black girls because I just didn't, I looked other, you know what I'm saying? So I find myself like either loaning by myself or finding, you know, somebody else that gravi that I gravitated towards and, you know, we ended up being friends, but I never fit in. Yeah. As I got older, I depended more on vibes. Right. So if I vibe with you, mm -hmm. if I feel that connection, then cool. we good. We cool. We good. We cool. Everybody should be friends with everybody, not just because of how they look. Exactly. That's, that's low. That's shallow. And you never know how you make somebody feel like that. You 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 make somebody feel like an outcast. That's that's not cool. That's basically you being a bully. But I will say, in some cases, some people just don't realize. It. No, they don't, and that's so bad because it has to do with the parenting skills at home. I feel like it all starts there. A lot of like. I hate to play the race card, but a lot of those things are still from you being a child. You know what I'm saying? From your parents raising you that way. My parents did not raise me. We have a mixed family. You know what I'm saying? And I've had best friends of all ethnicities, you know? Me too. And it's just like, I love people. I love people who make me feel good. I love making people feel good. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, vibe. Thanks for watching. Make sure you comment and subscribe. Drop some stuff. Drop some topics. And hit that bell. Hit that Hit that notification bell. So so you'll be up to date on all the videos, all the goodness. Because you want to subscribe. You do. Mm -hmm. You do. She had a lot of do. things coming in store that she I know didn't you even do. know about. I know you want to subscribe. subscribe. I know you want to subscribe. Hit that button. Hit it. Hit that hit button. It. Hit it. Then I say hit that button. Then I say hit it. Don't make me. Hit don't, it. don't make me. Don't make me make you hit it. Hit the button. Hit that bell. Hashtag Margaret. Hashtag, Hashtag Carol. Carol and Margaret.
Hashtag, we here. Curly hair don't care. We in this piece. Ah. Trophy wife who? Hashtag slay. Hashtag we out. <laughs>